Today's video will be mainly introducing you with a function about how to upload your sample information to the system, which is necessary before you ship your sample to our lab. This video is only for non-premier library project because the information we need for the products is different. The function for sequencing only service is introduced in another video. You firstly you need to find the projects that you want to send the samples. The project bar includes the basic information such as quotation number and the contact detail for your account manager and technical support. Please do not hesitate to contact them if you have any issues when uploading the information or need any help. When you click the project bar, the drop-down page will list all batches created before, include batches you submitted already or uncompleted batches, marked by different status. You can continue to finish the editing of batches at any time you want. Now let's start from adding a new batch. This pop-up page is the important notes. Please make sure you have read all the notes as sending sample without following the notes may lead to possible delay or in the worst case, may damage your samples. Once you read the instruction, please click the confirm button. On the sender information page, you need to provide the contact details, include email and your phone number. If the samples were shipped from different location, you can click the drop-down box and select the correct address. The sample summary part requires some basic information of sample batches you would like to send to us. Please note, if your samples are not packaged in 1.5 ml or 2 ml tube, a tube transfer fee may apply. Please contact the technical support listed here for more details. We will arrange the library QC once the sample is received by our lab directly with our standard QC process. Please select others and specify requirements if you have any. In the step two, you can download Excel template to fill in the sample information. The concentration and volume are not required here. The measurement is included in our standard QC process. If you project are amply based metagenomics related services, except for the basic information, you may also need to let us know about additional information like amplifier region. After completed the essential information, you can save the Excel and upload from the button in the center of screen. Then click Continue. The system will double check if all information on the Excel table are correct. The field rows will be marked in this list with a reason. Click Save and Continue. You may need to select the additional information for this batch of samples like sample status and sample type. This can help us to arrange the correct sample quality control protocol for your samples. After click Continue, you will be directed to an overview page. The information is all preferred based on the quotation information or the information you uploaded. You can modify the information quickly if needed. Then, please click Save and Continue to the next step. The next page is about the shipping information. Please select the transportation condition and the courier provider on this page. It will be helpful if you could fill in the tracking number on this page. It could help the sample collection team record the sample to the system quickly once they arrive. Please read and confirm the shipment checklist. It is very important to make sure your sample and project can be handled safely. The last step is the final review. Please check if all information is correct. The continue will lead you to a print page. Please print this page and attach it to your package. The sample collection team will associate your sample to your contract based on the information on this sheet. Therefore, the receival of package without the sheet might be delayed. After this step, you have finished all the steps about uploading sample information in customer service system. 
If you go back to the set sample page, you will find the batch number under the contract and marked as submitted.